Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, we're going to be revisiting, you got it, the Nintendo Wii. It's been a little, it's been a little while since we did a video on this thing, but we're going to be bringing it back today and attempting to see if it's even possible to browse the web on this thing in the year 2021. Now there's a couple methods that I want to dive into. We're going to check out the internet channel, which is the web browser that comes with the Nintendo Wii, or well, it didn't come with it. You had to get it from the Wii Shop channel, which you can't anymore, but I have it on this one, so we're going to check it out that way. And we're also going to check out a homebrew application, I, I believe is called Wii Browser, and that is another web browser. I think it was last updated in like 2013, which I believe makes it more recent update-wise than the web browser that's already on here, the internet channel. So we're going to see how those two compare, and then once we're done with that, we're going to be, you guessed it, let me just grab it over here, we're going to be pulling out the Raspberry Pi, this is in the Crow Pi 2 once again, and we're going to be seeing, we're going to be seeing how browse service works, or even if we can get browse service to work with a Nintendo Wii. Uh, I don't see why not, but that's what I say a lot in these videos, and something always goes wrong, so this will for sure be a fun one, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So if you'll excuse me, I have to get my really sophisticated recording device here. You guys know that we only use the most sophisticated and modern technology on this channel, so that's why I've got this luxurious DVD player right here, which I actually still use to capture the video output from the Nintendo Wii. It works great! So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this all set up and we will check this out and see if web browsing on the Nintendo Wii in 2021 is still possible. Alright, so first things first, let's launch the internet channel, which I believe is the only internet-enabled Wii channel that still works after both Wii Connect 24 and the Wii Shop channel being shut down. Obviously, the Wii Shop channel's closure was more recent. Unless, of course, you homebrew the Wii and install ReConnect 24, which I did a whole video on if you want to go check that out. So, this channel is based on Opera 9. Now, that is a pretty old version of Opera, to say the least. And it was first released, this channel was first released in 2007. And according to WeeBrew.com, Org, the last update it got was on September 1st, 2009, but it doesn't say anything about changing the Opera version. So this is still Opera 9, I believe. So we're going to go to google.com. Uh, I could use a USB keyboard, but I'm just using the Wii remote because I just prefer to just take longer with everything. So this here is the Google homepage. And this is actually a ver like this is not the super old version that still has the hyperlinks across the top. We've seen that in a couple other videos on this channel when we try to access Google on older web browsers. Typically it'll work, but it will display a more basic version of the page without this area up here. So with this, we can actually get access to the grid or maybe we can't. Well, it's loading something. You know what, while it's doing this, I'm gonna go get a USB keyboard. Okay, so I genuinely don't know what this is doing. This is supposed to pop out with a list of Google applications, or well, if you wanna call them that, you know, Google Docs, Google Drive, what else, Google Images. Google's got some applications in there, okay, let's just put it that way. But yeah, it's not, it's not doing anything. I mean, it's loading something, it looks like, but it's, uh, I mean, you can see the bar down here is right at the very beginning, and we still have the spinning circle animation over the the Wii cursor here. Let's try Gmail. Let's uh, click on Gmail up here. Yeah, something tells me this is not going to work. We can try images here. And... Yeah, I think this is just the browser. Oh, wait a second. Oh, there we go. Google images, or just images. <laughs> There you go. Dang, this looks real. I mean, look at this. Why is like the search box is like way off to the left. Oh, this is a totally different version of the page. Like we don't have that, you know, menu up here. We just get, oh, oh wait, we do. This is it. It just doesn't, <laughs> it just doesn't show like the icon doesn't show up or maybe that just took us back to Google images. So you got this like invisible button up here. Now the Google, like the regular Google images page does not look like this if you're accessing it from a modern browser. These links are not uh, at the bottom. There's a little bar down here that's got like advertising, business, about, and how search works, which is you got some of those links here. And the design of the search box itself is different. But so we can click on that and I've got a USB keyboard plugged in. So let's do an image search for YouTube and press enter. And then we got to Oh yes, Nintendo, with your great user interface design, we gotta hit OK, even though we've pressed Enter on the uh, on the keyboard. I wonder if this is gonna load indefinitely, that's my guess. 
Maybe we gotta hit search. Okay, so that... I mean, the bar across the bottom went all the way to the right. But we're still here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so like I thought, this is the mobile results page. This is also very common for older browsers. They will typically load to the Google search results page in its mobile form. So this is not the, I mean, you can still view search results, which is great. So yeah, there you go. We can look at all these YouTube images. Let's go to all here. And this page already looks a little broken. I mean, we got, I, I want to say this is probably the search button. You know, it's got that like blue background with the, with the magnifying glass. I'm going to guess that's what that is. So we can go, we can scroll down here. We got some, some tweets from YouTube. What is, what is YouTube tweeting about? We asked the world to film. Oh, yes, July 25th, 2020. We asked the world to film the story of a single day on Earth. Oh, I rem yeah, life in a day. I remember this. I think I got an email about this. Is YouTube free now? Is YouTube free now? People ask this. When has it ever not been free? Maybe they mean YouTube premium or YouTube TV or something, but you why this doesn't make any sense. Let's go to Wikipedia. We're trying to go to wikipedia page yeah this is a pretty slow browser and this is not my internet connection i'm sure some people will probably say oh it's just your internet connection no this is not as i have a hundred meg down and uh, this is not a hundred meg down that we're getting here so uh, this is absolutely the the browser oh unable to complete secure transaction you tried to access uh, oh, it's this is the Google uh, redirect URL here is currently unavailable. Well, let's just try to go to Wikipedia directly and see. So we'll go up here. Oh, that's right. We just click here. I'm like, I'm going to the top of the page to get to the address bar. Okay, so let's go to en.wikipedia.org. Well, that's not working either. Unable to complete secure transaction. Yeah, I was going to try and see if we could watch a YouTube video from this thing, but my guess is that ain't going to be possible. I mean, obviously, this thing was last updated in 2009. You can't really expect it to... <laughs> function perfectly, but I used to use this channel all the time. I even watched YouTube videos from it back in, I want to say, well, it was probably around 2008, 2009. I mean, you could absolutely watch YouTube videos on this thing. It was like a regular web browser. I mean, it's based on Opera that was available on Windows. You know, you could use it on Windows if you wanted to. So it's like, it was a, yeah, it was a, it was a great web browser. It was, it was very usable. Obviously it was just, you know, designed around using it with a Wii remote, which was the whole thing with the Wii, obviously, but you could, uh, well, the feature with the, with being able to use a USB keyboard was not originally included with this. That was added in an update. I believe the second or third update that the internet channel got gave you the ability to use the USB keyboard with it. You know, it's just obviously not going to function like it, like it used to. Okay. Let's just get out of the internet channel here because I don't want to spend the entire length of this video just talking about that because uh, I want to check out the Wii browser. Now this is a homebrew application that is actually on the Open Shop channel which is the revival project for the homebrew browser. I've mentioned that before on this channel as well. So we're going to start the homebrew channel here and we're going to open up the homebrew browser and click on load. The only thing is it was last updated I believe in like 2013 which is still newer. There it is right there. Wii browser. Let's check the date. 1st of September 2013. So this is about four years newer than the latest version of the internet channel. Here it is, Wii Browser. So we're going to click on that. It's got pretty official looking artwork here. I want to say that's from like Wii Sports or the Nintendo channel or something. Maybe it was just created for this, but it says right here, Wii Browser is a Wii web browser started from Wii Explore sources and using a customized lib Wii GUI as base for the GUI. So you can display custom websites. You can it has support for HTML and HTTPS connections. Well, I would hope it would have support for HTML if it's a browser, we kind of need to have that. <laughs> so I don't know why that's specifically listed in here, but HTTPS, okay, that's good. Links and web forms, capable of downloading files to SD slash SDHC card. Okay, that's pretty cool. Address bar with on-screen keyboard. I wonder if there's USB keyboard support. Doesn't say that here. It can extract zip, RAR, and 7Z files. That's pretty great. Just from the browser, you can extract it. That's really awesome. Supported image formats, PNG, JPEG, GIF. Oh, here come the pronunciation police. I can hear them in the comments right now. Image operation, zoom and move, auto update feature. Well, it hasn't been updated in the, since 2013, so it's been a little while. Wishlist, better CSS support, flash videos. 
Yeah, that also dates this as well. Multiple tabs. Oh, that's... Oh, I thought that was a feature for a second. No, that would be a nice feature. Controls, Wii Remote only. Does it say anything about a USB keyboard? Doesn't say anything about a USB keyboard, but let's see if it works. Maybe it will accept input from a USB keyboard. So we're going to load it here, and we get that. I've seen that animation before. Oh, this looks very similar to the internet channel. Yeah, this looks really good, actually. Yeah, you got a very similar looking bar down here. Uh, this is what you would click on to browse. I assume you could click this as well. And it brings up a keyboard here. So let me try to type out. Oh, it works. Awesome. So you can use a USB keyboard. Great. So let's go to google.com. Now the big question, can we press enter? No, we can't. We still have to click on OK with the Wii Remote. OK, not a huge deal. So we'll click the check mark. And that should, uh, I guess that will browse. Well, we got this thing that came up that said Wii Browser. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we're kind of, well, I just hit the home button. That probably just will take us back to the homebrew channel. Yes, it will. Home for homebrew. So we're just going to load it up again. I mean, I would think it would like show it loading the web page, but I don't know what this, like, what is, okay, we can hit plus here. Oh, these are probably like favorites. And probably say favorites there. Well, let's go down here. And, I mean, this looks like the same thing. Maybe we got to type out the full address. HTTP colon slash slash www.google.com. And we'll hit on OK. And check. And it does the same thing. Is this, like, the loading page? Like, does it not display the web page until it's loaded properly? Okay, I really don't know what this is doing. What the... <laughs> what is this doing? It's just on this, like... Okay. And I literally can't do anything. I can't press A, I can't click on anything. Pressing plus or minus doesn't do anything. Pressing home just takes you back to the homebrew channel. So how are we supposed to, <laughs> how are we supposed, like is there something I missed? I mean, did it say like there's something you're supposed to do? Wish list, controls, uh, shortcuts, credits. Then there's nothing about like, you have to do this first. Let's go to settings here. Maybe there's something we gotta, okay, homepage, google.com, unzip files, ask each time, user agent. Oh, we could change the user agent. Oh, let's change it to Firefox. That'd be pretty great. But hopefully we can even do it. Like, okay, let's go to the homepage. Oh, so it doesn't take you directly to the homepage. It, it just queues it up in this box here and you have to click the check mark. And this just does the same thing. <laughs> I am like so confused. This is not, I mean, I'm looking at the Webrew page for this. This doesn't say anything about like, there's something you're supposed to do, something you're supposed to set up. I just press the home button. We're gonna go back to the homebrew channel again. This is, so you got top sites over here, recent history. This is by pressing plus two times. Uh, nothing shows up here, obviously. Okay, we can view, this is the download manager. I mean, is there something in settings that I'm missing here? Let's turn off auto update. We'll change it to start new session, click sound, Firefox, advanced. I mean, there's nothing that I can see. You can send a bug report. I wonder if it would actually go anywhere. I wonder if maybe, I mean, it said it supports HTTPS. Can we manually force like HTTPS? Let's go to, gosh, um, you wanna just go to YouTube right off the bat? YouTube.com, let's try it out. Hit OK. I wonder what this does. Do you want to exit? Does this just take you back to, this just takes you back to the homebrew channel. Okay. One more time, we're going to try to go in here and just load youtube.com with HTTPS. If that doesn't work, I guess we're just going to move on to checking out browse service. Okay. YouTube.com. Check. I mean, if this is the loading animation, this is a very poor loading animation, I have to say. Like, there should be some sort of animation. Like, this isn't an animation at all, but like, if this is the loading screen, I mean, this is not a really good loading screen. But I mean, I've left it on this page for a couple minutes for the past couple of times I did this. We'll do it again. I mean, I'm gonna leave it here for five minutes or so and we'll see if it does anything. Okay, so it says resuming connection now. It was never really connected to begin with. Okay, maybe it's just, maybe it just takes a while. We'll just leave it on here for a little longer. And we've been on this screen for about five to seven minutes. Oh, I can't even press, I'm pressing the home button right now. And that ain't doing anything. I mean, we can still move the Wii hand, the Wii cursor around. <laughs> 
but I can't press home anymore. So maybe the, I mean, I would think that the channel is frozen or that the homebrew app is frozen, but normally if the entire system locks up, we can't move the hand around anymore. I keep calling it the hand, but you know what I mean? The cursor, we can't move the cursor around when the entire system is locked up, but I can't press the home button. So I'm gonna have to turn this off. Okay, so we're loading up the homebrew channel again here. <laughs> I don't know, let's just try it again, guys. I, I want to make sure I'm doing everything that I can possibly think of. Oh, the app didn't close correctly. Yeah, oh no, it's been restored. Don't tell me it's going to try to load YouTube. Okay, I was like, let's maybe go to HTTPS colon slash slash en dot wiki and we get the same thing. Okay, we'll leave it here and we'll see what happens. Okay, yeah, I think this is a lost cause. It's been about another seven minutes or so and... We have gotten nowhere, and I think the, yep, I can't press the home button again. I would think maybe you just can't press the home button on this page regardless of if the con, I mean, the console's obviously not frozen. Uh, I just, I mean, I can't power it off from the Wii remote, but, all right, I think our next mission is browse service. Okay, so first I gotta dig through my wonderful collection of, well, I got some Apple bags here too, but this is mostly just cables in here. I know I put this thing in here somewhere. Where is it at? Where did I put this thing? Oh, I think I got it. There it is. Okay, so we'll get back to this later. First off, I need to go on the Raspberry Pi. We've got it set up here and we got to start browse service. So I need to open up terminal actually. So let's do this with one hand. Isn't this gonna be awesome? I wonder if I got it. Yes, right here. Um, oh, and we'll just, this is the previous command I ran that uh, changes the user agent if the camera wants to focus like a good camera. Focus in, come on, you can do it, okay. So this is the, no, focus in, okay. This is, focus in! This is the command that changes the user agent to Mozilla Firefox running on Windows 10 and also has this specified as the IP address and port that we have to access, which we're gonna have to change on the Wii manually. So I'm gonna press enter. Oh, I didn't even change, gosh darn it, really? Okay, there we go, I didn't even change the right directory. Okay, so now it's starting. So now we have to get the ethernet cable, which should be long enough. Uh, okay, it's plugged in the 98 PC here. Let us move the 98 PC ever so slightly and unplug the ethernet cable. Okay, so the plan here is the Wii obviously does not have a uh, ethernet port on the back, but Nintendo sold a USB to ethernet adapter that you could get to use a wired connection with the Nintendo Wii, because it is supported. I mean, it's literally an option in the Wii settings, you can select wired connection. Now, I don't see why you couldn't use a standard generic USB to Ethernet adapter on the Wii, but we're gonna try that out and see if it even works. So we're going to plug this adapter in. It's in. Now, all we gotta do is, <laughs> I'm gonna say all we have to do, but we'll see how simple this is. We gotta go into Wii options, Wii settings, and we need to obviously change our network adapter settings. So we're gonna to go to internet and we're just gonna add, we're gonna to go to connection settings. We're going to just add a new connection. So we're gonna use connection to wired connection. Okay. Oh, come on, really? All right, one online purchase and about a week later, we got one of these. What is this you might ask? This is the official Nintendo Wii ethernet adapter. So it turns out that the Wii only supports USB LAN adapters that have the same chipset as this one, which this Amazon Basics one apparently does not. So it's not useful for this video. So I had to pick up one of these and hey, look, check this out. It's literally like a little baby version of the power supply. Isn't that so cool? It fits right in, literally. It's the exact same design here if you put them up to the edge. Oh, and if you were wondering if that network error we were getting had to do with browse service, uh, I actually had this plugged directly into my network switch over there with the default settings. Like I didn't have the IP address manually set or anything like that. So it wasn't able to connect to the network at all, which just led me to believe that this adapter is incompatible with the Wii, which it is. So let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in and see if we can get the Wii online through browse service 
with this. Well, I would show you that footage, but we ran into a couple of problems to say the least. You remember that super advanced capture technology that I mentioned at the beginning? Well, it turns out that it decided to corrupt the DVD I was using to record the Wii's output. Yeah, I guess Murphy's Law is affecting the video making process itself now, but let me just give you a little rundown of what happened because you didn't miss much. The adapter worked and the Wii was able to establish a connection to my home network, but when I plugged the Ethernet cable back into the Raspberry Pi and tried to manually specify the Wii's IP address and subnet mask, it stopped working. Now, I expected the connection test that the Wii does whenever you change the internet settings to fail. This is because a browser service client machine isn't going to be able to connect to the internet. The only page you'll be able to access is the one hosted on the browse service server. But it turns out that the Wii won't let you use an internet connection unless it is able to establish a connection to the internet. It just outright disables the use this connection button. For most people, this isn't going to be a problem. But in our case, it's a huge one. So I thought that was going to be the end of it. But then I remembered something I discovered while I was browsing the Open Shop channel. A homebrew application called Offline Network Enabler, which allows you to force activate one of the three network connections even if it isn't able to connect to the internet. Quick side note, this application modifies the Wii's NAND or flash storage, so I'd recommend knowing what you're getting yourself into if you ever decide to install it. I thought this would be perfect, so I downloaded it, went back into settings, configured the IP address and subnet mask settings, and ran the application. And it worked! Well, the homebrew app did. It enabled the connection that I set up, but the Wii still couldn't find the browse service server, and even after tinkering with the settings for about an hour, I still couldn't get the Wii to connect to the Raspberry Pi. In fact, the Pi wasn't even able to ping the Wii's IP address. So that's where we're at. From what we've seen in this video, I'm gonna say that browsing the web on the Nintendo Wii in 2021 isn't gonna work well for you. I mean, it's technically possible, sort of. The internet channel can load some sites, and I have seen videos of the Wii browser homebrew app working too, but both of these browsers are pretty old, and you're not gonna be able to freely browse modern websites without running into some problems. In most cases, I wasn't even able to get the internet channel to load a web page at all. But there you have it. That's my experience trying to browse the web on the Wii in 2021. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, even if it wasn't the conclusion you were hoping for. Oh, but on the bright side, I remembered that I have this composite capture device that I can use for these videos. Yeah, kind of wish I remembered that before recording this one.